All right, so welcome to yoga class today. Today we're going to work with some superhero characters and we're going to talk about the Chinese elements and do some movements and some sound breathing. So today we'll start with our hello song. Hello there. This is the yoga way to greet our friends we say hands together namaste finding your own circles inhaling arms overhead exhale hands down to your heart inhale arms rise exhale down to the heart inhale arms rise exhale hands to the heart this time adding our sounds inhale rise exhale ah ah release inhale rise exhale oh oh release inhale rise exhale together ah oh mm. today moving into silent seconds resting your hands on your lap sitting up nice and tall Finding the top of your head, reaching up towards the ceiling. Resting your shoulder blades down your back. And we're going to practice finding stillness in our bodies and stillness in our minds. So we'll start three minutes. Everybody get ready and start. We're halfway there, a minute and a half to go. Sitting up tall, listening to your breathing as it moves in and moves out and noticing your seat sitting on the floor.
Excellent job, everyone. All right, opening your eyes, coming back to your seats, dancing one shoulder up high and then the other, sliding side to side. And then let's add the arms in with this. So dancing one hand up and then the other. Rising high one side and low on the other. And then bringing both arms forward, both hands forward, and we're gonna raise up high to the ceiling, bend the elbows and push the hands forward. So making these big circles with your body, pushing forward, pulling back. And then going the opposite way, pushing hands, palms forward, pulling back to your torso, lifting palms to the ceiling, pushing palms forward, pulling the hands back to your torso. Two more times, lifting high, low, in, up, forward, back, and to center. From here, clasping the hands. So the hands are at your heart and you're gonna press the palms forward, pressing, rounding the back. You're gonna tuck your chin Press the hands forward and then reach the palms up to the ceiling. Release the hands down to your sides. So this is a stretch. It's also called kitty cat stretch. So bring your hands to your heart, clasping, palms forward. Press the palms out, rounding your back like the cat. Your cat stretching your back here, round the back. Tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, rise, the hands come up to the ceiling. Stretch high, release the hands back down to the floor. All right, one more time. One more time, kitty cat stretch, hands together. At the heart, press the palms forward, round the back, tuck the chin. And then stretch and inhale, arms overhead, palms to the ceiling, release the hands down to your sides. Again, we'll bring up one shoulder and then the other, pressing a hand to the floor and sliding side to side. So has everybody thought of one of their favorite superhero characters for today? Think of any movies or any cartoons or any books that you've read recently. And what we're going to do is choose a character and then we're going to act out the character's pose. So, to get started, I'm going to choose Supergirl. So, everybody come up to standing. And stand, say, like in the middle of your mat. And Supergirl, she has a pose, right? So, she has one hand on her hip, and she steps forward, and she's proud and strong. So then we'll come back and we'll just do that on each side. So making this super girl pose. All right, back and forward with the right foot, bending the knee, reaching the arm up to the sky and back feet together. Left side, reaching forward with the fist and back to center. One more time each side, super girl and back. And left side and back. All right, who has a pose that they would like to share? Okay, which one? A character and a pose. Super snowflake. Super snowflake, okay. And what does super snowflake look like? All right, everybody down and see what Sean and Rowan are doing. So it's it's like a K 
cat pose? And are you gnarling with your face? Okay. And you've got like claws. All right. Excellent job. Who has another one? Okay. Yes, which one? Super custard. Super custard? Super custard. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. The other cats. Oh, the other cats. All right, so we're going to stay in cat pose then. All right, so these are their cats that we're acting out. So you can pretend you're a cat with claws or you're, you're, you're uh, swatting at things or you're climbing a tree. And we're in cat pose, arching the back because we're cats. All right. Yeah, super snowflake and super custard. Excellent. One. Yeah, Snowflake is a gray cat. Custard is in the other room. And Custard is in the other room. So these are the two cats that the okay. twins have. Snowflake is, no, Super Snowflake is in green. Yeah, that's, that's cute, guys. All right, does somebody else have a cartoon character or a superhero they'd like to share? Who's your favorite? Jasper, who do you have? What do you want to share? Uh, Superman and Iron Man. Super, okay, let's start with Superman first. And what does Superman pose look like? I think I know what Iron Man, let's do Iron Man first. Okay, let's do Iron Man first. What does Iron yeah. Man look like? Is he standing up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He has big black hands. All right, here's Iron Man. Standing tall, nice and strong. Straightening out your fingers. What is Iron Man do? Iron Man, here's Iron Man. All right. And does anybody want to share a Superman pose? Yeah, Maddie, is Superman just flying? Like, you want to go into like a warrior three? So everybody fly into one arm balance like you're Superman, like you're flying. And then you can step back. And then we're gonna fly on the other side. So step forward with your left foot and sweep your arms forward, lift your foot high and fly like Superman. All right, other side, let's do it two more times. So step forward and fly. Step back, left foot forward and fly like Superman. Nice job, everybody. That's, well, that's why we're practicing, Jasper. You can practice this all the time at home. All right, Lulu, do you have an idea? Let me see if I can, let me, un, we have to unmute you. Lulu, do you have a superhero for today? Um, no. No? Okay. Anybody else? What about, what mom? The Hulk. The Hulk, okay, and what does the Hulk do? Yeah, the Hulk is like full of muscles, right? So feel like you're nice and strong in your legs, maybe bend your knees, and you're gonna bend your elbows and make big fists in between, and pretend you're really, really strong like the Hulk. 
All right. Yeah. All right, here's the Hulk. And we'll do one more. Let's do Wonder Woman. Wonder, one of the power poses is when you get strong in your legs and you have your hands on your hips. So puff up your chest, reach your head to the sky, plant your feet strong to the ground so you're nice and grounded. And this is your, your nice, strong power pose, Wonder Woman. All right, excellent job. So, you have another Hulk one? Yes. All right, let's do one more Hulk one. So the hands are together. Yes, no, let's put them kind of out. They're kind of out or they can go out. And are your legs straight or are they bent? Uh, bent. They're bent? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. another exercise. I thought this was a good stretch because I feel, feel my claw put it out. Yeah. And then I put it back in. All right. So there's our extra Hulk exercise. Nicely done. Well, for the next part of class today, we're going to learn a little bit about the five Chinese elements. So the Chinese have a little bit different healthcare system than us, and they move through five different elements in nature. Nature is all around us, and it's what helps Mother Earth grow. So we're going to move through poses that represent the earth. And there are five of them. So we're going to start in water. We're gonna start in water, wood, fire, earth, and metal. And each of these elements has a pose and a sound. So let's do the sound really quick to practice. And then we'll add the pose. All right, so the first one is water, and it's going to be like we're blowing out a candle. So everybody put your finger up in front of you and pretend like you're blowing out the candle. So it might be like a hoo, but you're really going So take a deep breath in and blow out your candle. Take a deep breath in and blow out your candle. So there's water. Wood is going to be shh. So it's kind of like you're telling somebody to be quiet. So you just make shh really loud. All right, take a deep breath in and shh. All right. The third one is fire. The sound for fire is ha. So you can either make short haws, ha, 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 or we're gonna make a long ha sound. So ha, and you can also do more of a breath. All right. The next one is number four, and it is earth. So the earth element is working with the throat. So it's like a very rasping voice or like a deep breathing in the back of your throat. It's also called Darth Vader breath, where you're kind of making a scratching noise. So you can go <sighs> So that's the loud version. And if you did it a little bit softer, taking a deep breath in and exhaling out. Nice. The fifth element is metal. And metal makes a sound like a snake. So 
everybody practice. Take a deep breath in and out. Nice. All right, let's now move and add the poses to each of the five elements. So we're working with the movements of nature in our bodies so our bodies can get stronger and we can practice different breathing patterns to shift our bodies and minds. So everybody come into a yogi squat. So maybe you have your feet on the ground and we're going, you can either keep your feet wide or you can keep your feet together, but you're gonna hug your knees. You can even put a pillow behind your, your heels if that's helpful for you. So hugging your knees, tucking your chin into your knees, and then we're gonna inhale, come up with your head, bring your candle up in front of you and blow out your candle. Tuck your chin, round your back, hug your knees, and then inhale, lift your head up, bring your candle up in front of you, and blow out your candle. And one more time, rounding your back, tucking your chin, hugging your knees, inhale, bringing your finger in front of you and blowing out your candle. Excellent. All right, bringing your hands up overhead as you stand tall. And moving into wood pose, or wood element. So for wood, we're going to reach down to the floor and pull up all the weeds. We're gonna pretend we're in the garden and pull out everything that we don't want in the garden. So pull, pull, pull. I pulled every single Wonderful to hear you pulled everything out. So now with your two hands, you're gonna make a big fist and you're gonna pull everything up. You're gonna sweep your arms around you and remember the sound of wood. It's shh. So we're gonna throw all those weeds back down to the earth and make a shh sound. You're gonna pull all the weeds back up around, pull them high to the sky, reach up high, throw them all to the ground with a sound. And then again, one more time, pulling weeds out from the ground, reaching up and over to the sky and throw everything to the ground. And then coming back to standing, shaking out your feet and your hands and fire. Fire element was ha. So we're going to inhale the arms overhead and make a ha noise. Ha. Bring the tops of your thumbs to the top of your head and say ha. Bring your thumbs down to your forehead between your eyebrows and make ha. Again, hands come down to your heart space. And we're gonna go ha. And again, down, thumbs come to your belly button. Ha. And then pressing your hands over your belly. Ha. And we'll sweep the hands off the thighs and shaking out the hands. Finding a nice tall mountain pose. So I want you to move, lift one foot and then the other, up and down. Planting and making roots with your feet. So growing nice and tall here, puffing out your chest and sliding your shoulders down your back. The next element we're doing is called earth. So for earth, we're going to bring one hand to the rib cage 
Bring your other hand around to the top of your elbow, and we're going to rock side to side. The earth element is all about caring for ourselves. So it's, this is like we're rocking the baby. We're rocking ourselves. Side to side. And this sound is when we make it in the back of the throat. It's the Darth Vader breath. So breathing in. Breathing out. Coming back to center, closing your eyes. Standing up tall, feeling your legs nice and strong. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And releasing your hands, opening your eyes. The last element is called metal. And for metal, we're gonna bend our knees a little bit. You're gonna bring your arm out to your sides. And we're gonna make, like we're wrapping our hands around a really big giant beach ball. So your fingertips are gonna touch. You're gonna look down at the floor. And then you're gonna open, 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 open the arms out big. Look up to the ceiling. And then curl around, round your back. And the sound is like a snake. Fingers touch. Open the arms out wide. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Look up high in the ceiling. And then arms come forward, round the back, look to the floor. And one more time, open the arms, look to the ceiling, round your back, back bend, breathe in, and breathe out. Rounding forward, fingers touch. And then wiggling out your feet, shaking your hands. And then we'll make a nice big range, rainbow up to the sky, fingers touch, and exhale, hands down to your sides. Inhale, arms overhead, fingers touch, exhale, hands down to your sides. This time we'll come inhale, arms up, exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold hands to the floor, gaze to your toes, inhale to a flat back, exhale, lower down, plant your hands, and come down to tabletop. We'll find a little cat and cow, arching the back, dropping the belly, cat and cow pose. And moving into bird dog. So lifting your left hand and right foot back to balance. And lower down. Lift your right hand, left foot back, straight to balance. And lower down. One more time each side. Bird dog, left hand and right foot. Lower down. Right hand, left foot raise, stretching both long, and lower down, cat and cow pose, cat and cow pose, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then lower your hips, finding child's pose, resting your forehead on the mat, Finding stillness, and we're gonna breathe. Breathing five times here. Resting your forehead on the mat. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. Pressing into your hands, coming back to tabletop. And then coming back into sitting position, go to find your pillow. Finding your pillow on the ground, finding your seat. So at the beginning of every yoga class, we, we sing the word OM. And OM is a really powerful word in yoga. We say OM because it has a certain vibration to it. And the vibration helps when we sing it all together. It helps to unify all of our voices. And so it helps to connect everybody in the world with the original sound of creation. And it symbolizes the unity with everything. So let's everybody sit up nice and tall. We'll bring our hands together at the heart. And we'll just practice singing one ohm together. So take a big inhale and a big exhale. Taking a big inhale and we'll start. Om. Bless you. Moving into our one minute of Satanama. So remember you're tapping your first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. And the sounds are sa ta na ma. So one minute. I'm going to ring the bell and we'll start with our deep breath in and exhale out. Take a deep breath in and start. Sa ta na ma 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 sa Today. Moving into our imagination time. So if you want to find a comfortable place, you're welcome to sit up tall or you're welcome to lay down on the floor, finding a pillow and a blanket, covering yourself up to keep yourself cozy and warm and safe. Today's imagination story meditation is going to be about the clouds. So finding stillness in your body, 
finding stillness in your mind and getting ready to close your eyes, coming into your imagination. As you enter your garden today, you become aware of the softness of the air caressing your cheeks and you feel the warmth of the sun on your body. Look around and you can see the trees and the plants all sharing the same earth happily with the flowers and the animals. The sky is a deep shade of blue. And the sky is also very bright and clear. The golden sun is high in the heavens, warming the earth and all of the earth's creatures. The path in front of you is winding along through the soft dewy grass and up onto a hill that isn't difficult to climb. I want you to go to a soft grassy spot on the top of the hill and lie on your back in the sun. This way, you can look at the white clouds in the sky and watch them change shape. You can watch them change from little clouds to big clouds and then back again. Now, that you are comfortable, I want you to really watch the clouds. Can everybody hear Stephanie? Can people hear Stephanie okay? No. She's it kind of right the Kind of like, you know, it's just okay, it's, she's it's great enough little... for me too. I think some people can hear and some people can't hear right now. So it's just the way it is. <coughs> so there's not much we can do about it. So you're fine now. Did you lift it up? You're fine. Well, I'm just going to continue, Mom, and if you hear, that's great, and if not, that's the way it is today. So now that you can be more comfortable, I want you to really watch the clouds, and you will see that they might form very unusual shapes. If you look at them closely, you might be able to see those shapes more clearly. Can you see your grandpa or your grandma? Oh, I wonder what else is up there. I see a little cat up there. Yes, there are also other animals around the cat. I think it might even be the whole cat's family together. The clouds are always moving and forming new shapes. Perhaps you can see whole new places that you can't see anywhere else. Sometimes you can see other lands in the sky and way up above you, other people in these lands. Sometimes you can see mountains or buildings or different animals. It is very peaceful watching the clouds drifting by, changing and reappearing as something else. So taking a few moments in your own time, lying on the ground and watching the clouds, watching the sky, and seeing if there is anything else that you see.
So noticing that the sky is still a nice deep shade of blue and the golden sun is still high in the heavens, warming the earth and all of the earth's creatures. You feel the soft air caressing your cheeks. You feel the sun warming up your body. Looking around, you can see all of the trees and the plants that are sharing the same earth happily with the flowers and the animals. Waving goodbye to the clouds in the sky and telling the friends of the earth, the animals and the plants, thank you for being here. And coming back to your yoga mat, noticing your body touching the mat. You can start to raise your fingers, wiggling them up to the ceiling, stretching your arms out long overhead, stretching your legs and starting to move over to one side and then slowly coming back up to a seated position. So everybody making your way back to sitting. I hope you all enjoyed the cloud imagination time. Does anybody want to share this, the different clouds that they saw in the sky? Did everyone? Saw penguins. You saw what? I saw penguins. Penguins? I saw what was the second one? Penguins and what? Dripping. Ah. Cat, kitten, dragon. It's a mix. Cats and kitten dragons. Oh. Nice. Lulu? Well, I was in my living room, so, and there's like this rhino, right, rhino statue thing right next to me. So, uh, I'm like, yeah. So you saw, what did you see? Repeat that one more time. Oh, I, no. Um, so there's a rhino statue beside me, and I was looking up at that, so my clouds looked like that. They looked like rhinos. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Maddie or Jasper or Mom, did you have any cloud animals or pictures you want to share? Okay, an animal or a cloud, a picture that you want to share, Mom? I saw turtles and clouds and turtles, snail, caterpillars, looking up at the clouds that I see. Okay, those are all good ones. Thanks for sharing. Maddie or Jasper, did you have any clouds? All right. Well, we. I, I was just playing. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you just take a break from that. Excellent. Then I guess you saw trucks in your clouds today. That's wonderful too, Jasper. Thanks for sharing. All right, Maddie, your video is off. Maybe you disappeared. Are you there? Did you have any cloud animals to share? Dogs. Dogs? Yeah, dogs are good ones too. Nice. Well, I think the twins popped off, but we'll end our yoga class for the day. Closing first with our poem. A repeat after me and then our goodbye song. May I be safe and loved. May I be happy and healthy. May I be happy and healthy. May I be kind and caring. May I be kind and caring. 
And may I know that all is well. And may I know that all is well. And may I know that all is Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. The time has come today. The time has come today. To end our yoga play. To end our yoga play. Hands together. Namaste. Thank you all for joining our yoga fun today. I had a great time with you all and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye. Thank you, Stephanie. You're very welcome. Goodbye.